so we're on our way right now to go try to resurrect and save this hive because if we don't get a queen for them they're definitely gonna die Welcome back to the homestead everybody. We have kind of an issue today going on. We got two beehives two weeks ago and one hive was good, no issues. The second hive, we have a big issue. We do not have a queen. The first hive that we inspected and installed in the, uh, the left one over here, it was fine, no issues. Queen was in her cage, all that good stuff and uh, now she's out and laying larva and it's, it's all good. Well, the second hive, when we installed the bees, there was no queen. She had already left her cage, maybe gotten chewed out or we don't, we don't know what happened. So we waited 10 days, inspected the hive. We have absolutely no larva, which is a bad sign. Obviously a sign that we have no queen. The hive is still strong and good. They're producing comb. They're uh, gathering pollen, they are producing honey, all of that good stuff, uh, but there's no larva. So they'll die pretty soon here if we don't get a queen in it. Now, we're, we're kind of lucky because here in Kansas City, we have a, a guy across town, actually in Lenexa, Kansas. You can check him out, I think it's beekeepers.com. Anyway, awesome guy, that's where we got our two hives from. He has queens and so we're on our way right now to go try to resurrect and save this hive because if we don't get a queen for them, they're definitely gonna die. Oh, you put, oh, okay, I see how you do it. These are, these, you gotta take this cork out. Yep. And then hang her, you can hang her with a, with a paper clip and hang her between the frames like that. Mm -hmm. And the bees will basically hang her candy side up so the bees eat the candy out and let her out. Okay. And then three or four days later, you come and you make sure she's out of the cage. I was wondering how she survives in there, but you have bees in there. Yeah, that's how she's transported, yeah. Got it. Plus you got, the bees in the hive will take care of her too. Right. So you got all that. They'll feed her through the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And plus this, this feeds for them too. And plus they, they're taking care of her too. So you do that. And she's and marked. Yeah, you, go. you got a marked queen in there. Then when you're, when you're done with that three or four days, she should be out. And then keep the hive closed. And then seven to 10 days later, go back in there. You should see eggs and larvae. Okay. So that's how it is. Good Ready deal. Bud? Yep. There you go, bud. We just put her in Isaiah's pocket. She can stay warm down there. And then we'll install her. There you go, Let's see. All right, we're back. We got our queen. He said they had a few left, so we got by by the skin of our teeth here. And this is her. So you got two sides. This is just the block side, so we got a little cork in there. And then this is the candy side. So the first thing we do is take the cork out of this side and then use a paper clip to poke through like a hole into the candy and he said that allows them to chew her out faster but there she is you can see she's marked these are italians and she's got her nurse bees with her taking care of her attending to her so we're going to go ahead and install this one in the hive here hold that real quick in the sun I'm gonna get a close-up shot here. Alright, first thing we're gonna do, light our smoker. Do you like it? Yeah, a lot of people buy little smoker pods and stuff. I just found it's easier to get some dead branches or leaves or stuff like that. Make a fire inside of it? Yeah, that's all you do. Take your lighter. That's actually really cool. 
let it flame up some. That's it. And once it's lit, you just close it up. You got some good, good smoke. So these are our horizontal hives. We built these from instructions from a guy actually that's in Southern Missouri, I think is where he is. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check him out. We have a video on how we built these hives. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check it out. So all I'm gonna do is just smoke these guys. Some light smoke. Remove our top covers. Nope. So it looks like most of our population is over here on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and probably install her right in between these two frames is what I'm going to do. All right. So all we do is take her. So all we're going to do is take the cork out like that. And then there's honey or sorry, honey. There's a um, candy inside there that white stuff is candy now that our corks out take a little paper clip we're gonna poke a hole down through the candy and into the insides so I just poked a hole all the way through you can see there so they're gonna start eating that candy real good and eventually they're gonna chew her out so I just put a paper clip right through the top there where the other cork is and they'll eat that candy out from the bottom and we'll take the rest of this paper clip we're gonna move these over there's our old cage so that's the one that's the cage that she was gone basically I opened this hive up there's nothing in there the candy was chewed out and she was gone so that's Worthless. We're gonna put her. A bee's onto the cage, Daddy. What do you mean? A bee's on the little cage thingy that you're holding. Oh yeah, they're checking her out already. I'm just gonna slip her right in between here. Right, they're all all over her already. Freaking out. They are all over that thing. Come look, Bubs. Yeah, they're covering the cage, so they'll get her. They'll get her out of there in no time. All right, I think that's good. We'll close this up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pull out some frames from my other hive over here and show you exactly what larva looks like, pollen looks like, and honey looks like. These hives have been pretty calm, so I'm not using any, I'm not gonna use any smoke on this one. See if we can focus in on some of this stuff, if you can see this. So these darker spots right here in the comb, this is all pollen. These are their pollen stores. I'm looking to see if I see any other larva or anything in this. This is all pollen right here. So that's typically what they'll do, they'll separate kind of this is this kind of will be their pollen area and then let's check out the other side of this one they haven't drawn much out here I think this one right here is probably the the uh, the larva so they actually have some cap tunny there you can see around that area oh there's some larva right there next to it I'll see if I can See if I can zoom in on that. There's our larva. That's what we want to see. If we don't see our larva, then we do not have a queen or we don't have a functional queen or most of the times you just don't have a queen. So that is what I didn't see in the other hive that I saw in this hive to denote that this, this queen is good and she's laying. I do have an area right here 
that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of because they tend to do some cross comb and the more cross comb you can take care of ahead of time the less of a headache you have when you're going to inspect your hive again that's it I'm gonna put these guys back up leave them alone get out of their hair Okay, that's it. We got our queen installed in the uh, new hive. I'm super excited about these hives. If you haven't seen some of our previous bee videos, we have a bunch of them. We have one where I caught a swarm and I go into detail about catching it, how you catch them, what to do afterwards, all that good stuff. What do you do when you move bees? How do you move them? Um, all that good stuff. So we have some information out there. I'll leave some links in the description below. You can check out those videos. But we're done here today. We're hoping and praying that this queen lasts and these hives get big and strong. Um, just a bit of information about a horizontal hive. Basically what happens is you have three entrances. We start over here on the right and these have blue tape on them because the entrances are closed off because the hive exists only to right here. So as the hive grows, you grow the hive this way instead of langstroth hives you grow the hive up right so it's a little bit different i like these because they're easy to work with again i have a i have a video on how we built these you can check that out link in the description below um, but we've found great success with these hives anyway go check out that video that's going to do it for us today guys thank you so much for watching we're going to go plant some grapes in the vineyard if you haven't already and you're enjoying this video hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell next to it and hit all and you'll get all of our notifications on future videos we release thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video